All right, guys, we're playing Yasuo top lane today. We're playing Yasuo versus a Riven top lane, and what we're running here is Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Dance, Bone Plating specifically, and then also Overgrowth for the Scaling. Now, this game, we're going to be playing, once again, my favorite top laner to 1v9. I think I said this plenty of times right now in Season 14, but I really do mean it. Like, Yasuo is, has been my... Uh, second main for decades at this point. Yasu top lane has been overperforming in high elo as well. Lots of people playing it. And in season 14, in my opinion, I like season 14 far more than season 13 if it comes down to Yasu and the Yone top lane. Anyways, this matchup isn't really too bad. A lot of people see this as a counter matchup, which it partially is, but if you are a really good Yasu player, it is a super playable matchup. And there's the flash already. So this matchup heavily comes down to how well you know the power spikes and how well you can outplay. Um, Yasuo is stronger level 1, level 2 to level 3. Um, Riffin is stronger at level 3, 4, 5 into level 6, uh, depending on where the wave is at. So we're using that to our advantage right here. I know that I'm stronger than Riffin right now because I can hit my Q from a distance and she doesn't have the full combo just yet. I'm going to put like a second point into my Q here for extra damage. All right. Now we need to be a little bit more careful because she did hit level three, but the wave is still in an incorrect position for her. So let's see if... Uh, if we could maybe win this part. Fun little fact about the Yasuo, guys. Just want to throw this out there. What is that cute? It was delayed. Okay. Uh, fun little fact about Yasuo here for you guys. Um, Riffin is actually one of the champions I've been using for years for the Challenger grind to rank 1. However, Yasuo has been my second main for decades, right? Riffin, Yasuo, Kale, and uh, a few others. But more specifically, Riffin and Yasuo are both champs that I've always used for the climb. So when I was like consistently challenger many years in a row, when I was actively like spamming ranked a lot, like these champions were mine, man. So I know everything. I, I literally know everything about the Yasuo Riffin. I love these champs. And I'm glad to see that Yasuo top lane, like, people see this more than, life, more than ever. Super active in Aila. Hmm. Okay, well... This might be a kill here. Maybe. It depends. We need to avoid the all-in. Okay, Graves can just fall back if he wants. As long as he doesn't mess the wave up. Uh, Alright. Uh, Graves just messed up the wave there, so... Yeah, it's not really appreciated. I was hoping he wouldn't mess up the wave, but he just did. It's okay, though. It's still playable. Very well. So he's gonna reset. I might actually shove this one. It really depends. I want to draw Riffin out to stay in this position because she is really low HP, has no teleport. Uh, she runs the D shield and has no more. Oh, I'm being kinked again. Okay. Oh. All right. I am getting uh, ganked uh, quite a few times, guys. Good morning. My first game today. Good morning. Let's shove this out. As soon as she uses the third Q, I'm up for it. Like, Riffin's third Q is a uh, pretty high cooldown at the start, depending on how she uses it. If she delays Qs all that time. Oh, nice. Oh, she had the level 6. I'm not gonna press R. <laughs> no way. That must be really tilting for her. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that must be really tilting. <laughs> oh, I managed to sidestep that one. <laughs> that must be tilting. <laughs> I knew that she was going to do this. That's why I moved to the left side. I knew that she was going to drop that R down eventually. <laughs> Amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. Alright, let's go from two Berserker's Greaves. Okay. Nice, we got some potions. So, one thing that I always recommend in every matchup, doesn't matter if it's like ranged matchup or like bruiser matchup, tank matchup, it doesn't really matter. I always encourage people you have to buy into Berserker's Greaves. No matter the matchup, no matter what it is, it doesn't matter. This item allows you to have more damage simply because of the attack speed. It allows you to kite better, position better. It does everything better. You can't go wrong with building Berserker's Greaves ever. If you can buy it instant on the first back, like, it's one of the best things you can do. All right, let's hold it like this. Nice. So, obviously, I'm not touching the wave, right? Because Riffin is going back to base. She's trying to buy items. She's trying to get back to full HP. So, just by holding down this wave, I can deny her, like, a large portion of the upcoming wave, too. And it's going to set her, like, really far behind. And any level gain, you know, any level difference we can get is going to make us obliterate the laning phase, right? The more level lead we have, the less likely we're going to die by Riffin all in, which is our weakness. Like, level difference makes the difference. Whoops, I just trolled that one. You can just win to all this stuff. I'm just gonna walk back just a little bit so I can avoid taking too much. So when Riffin comes back, I'm gonna be looking for an all in because... Actually, wait a second. I'll be a bit more careful with saying that, because... I was expecting her to be level 6, my bad. That's okay. I'll hit level 8 faster than Riffin. She can't go for the cannon, I have my 3rd Q available. Nice. She loses cannon. Great, I also lost the last hit because... I don't know. I'm a bit trolling in my first game today. I lost a couple last hits, which I definitely should have missed. She can't really play the laning, la uh, laning phase out because the very second that Riffin walks up to me, she overextends basically and she will end up dying. Huh? Where's she going into? Am I getting ganked again? Nah. I almost refuse to believe. We're going to win the laning phase right here, by the way. I have a cool little plan. There you go. Okay, I'm not going to go for plate. Hear me out on this one. <clears throat> There's two things that happens right now. Let me showcase you. Yep, exactly like I expected. So, there's two things that could happen, right? I'm shoving this lane out, and it's getting under tower, okay? Riffin has two choices. She went to River, which means that she likely helps uh, enemy jungle to take this camp, okay? That's really good for me. So, despite... Her getting this jungle camp, I win because the lane got under tower. She lost like half the wave, and now I have even more of an XP lead. The best part is that I backport and I buy all of my items, and now I come back with even more items. Which means that now, if she walks into me, I will win even harder because I have more items again. I have far more items now. So she has two choices again. She either, like, uh, goes back to base right now and she will lose another full wave, maybe possibly two waves. Or she will walk into me, fight me, and then die. Because I have, a, I have like, item advantage. So... And that's only because, like, people help their jungler taking Herald. I recently got a lot of people, like, asking me why I never help my jungler with this camp. This is exactly why, guys. I have recently got a lot of YouTube comments about people telling me that I'm making the mistake of not helping my jungler. This is why. You don't always help your jungler, guys. Your lane matters more than helping your jungler. And of course, like, if your jungler is going to die and it's miserable for your jungler, of course you help. It depends on the situation. But in most situations, 
You do not help your jungler like that. You set up yourself, and then you help your jungler. You never just leave your lane. You never do that. If you leave your lane, like this Riffin just did right now, this is what happens. This is the result of one tiny, tiny thing. Check this out. She can't walk up anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm beating her straight up. The second that she walks up, she will die. Look how much farm she lost. Because she only helped the jungler, right? She only helped the jungler once. Now she can't move up anymore. This story is not yet. Well, she can't play. Her team at does not beat me. Hmm. She doesn't dash up to me. Interesting. I'm about to level 10. Nice. I'm level 10. I feel like I'm... Uh, there must be a fiddle six here? I don't know, man. I'm, I suspect it. Uh, wait a second. There is a good chance that we are... Maybe getting ganked. I don't know. I'm trying to hit her like max range. I'm gonna drag the wave to the left side. Now I walk in the brush. What 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 happens now is that the wave is gonna start pushing to my direction because I actually dragged it as close to Riffin's tower as I could, and then I reset it instantly. So the wave will fully focus um, more specifically, and it's gonna start bouncing into me slowly. At least it really depends on how I lasted here. All right, we just keep waiting. She can't farm. My my lane is GG, man. This Riffin is uh, super scared. And I'm getting ganked, by the way. Okay. Oh, my, uh, my plan kind of failed. So I, what I wanted to do was I was either going to, like, stay out of range of uh, Fiddlesticks or I was going to, like, ult Fiddlesticks and cancel out the ultimate. I don't exactly remember how Fiddlesticks got me because I flashed away. I think he flashed too. It wouldn't surprise me if he flashed. It wouldn't surprise me. Just forgot for a second. I could watch the replay, no problem. Check it out later, probably. But yeah, either way, like, we're getting ganked, like, 3 million times. And even now, as we speak, I have 122 CS. This guy's, like, 53. Like, it's over for a Riffin right here. My lead is insane. Uh, unfortunately, like, the Fiddlesticks ganked, they did help Riffin to stay in the game. If she never ganked a lane, ever. Uh, I'd be in an even better spot. But, uh, you yeah, know, it's fine. Never done. Unfortunately, there's not much else that we can get. Nice. I'll be grabbing some jungle camps as well. This is the safest Riffin I've ever seen. Does not make the mistake. It's not typical. Oh, that jungle camp has been taken. Mm, there's nothing to be found here. Yeah, I'm not happy that I couldn't get a single kill against Riffin because this guy is ultra safe. I think he will move up here. I'll just push again. Like this, Riffin basically abandoned the entire laning phase to, uh, you know, dropping all of the farm to stay alive. That's kind of what happened.
Hmm. The most safest Riven I have ever seen. I don't believe that I have no kills on this Riven, uh, to be honest with you. I find that very hard to believe. All right, let's go back. <clears throat> ah, that one didn't land. Okay. I'll stay one more wave. Uh, quick question. Is that a good thing? Abandoned lanes stay alive? No, not really. It really depends. Like, if you're if you're ultimately, like, losing all of the farm and everything, yeah, it's more of a risk. Because that means that Riffin is playing to get carried, and that's exactly what Riffin is doing so far. That's the problem. Uh, my entire team is all losing the game. Everyone's losing very, very, very hard. So Riffin is just, like, existing at the moment. Trying to get carried. Bit unfortunate though, because I actually got permacam by Fiddlesticks and I still have my full team losing, but it is what it is. You can see like Riffin's barely doing anything on me. Hmm. See? Like she doesn't go, she doesn't even bother like thinking about the last that she just like backs off entirely. That's exactly what I mean. And we gotta face off two people which are fed. Yeah. Alright, we gotta deal with like two people right now which are ultra fed. Way more fed than I am. Okay. I hope that my jungler will start playing around me, I guess. Like, if, if I have like two people top, we can actually kill them. I hope that Grace will move. If we can kill these people, I can start playing the game. <laughs> hmm. They don't seem to move up either. Ah, there's a Fiddle Six top lane. Hmm. Nice. Great, I can start playing the match now. Unfortunately, I didn't get to kill Smolder, which was really felt too, but it's it's fine. My honor left a long time ago. Nice. I think I might overstay too. I have like 3k gold, but like I can get the tower right now. It's gonna make a big difference to the game. Okay, time to head back. 3.6k gold. Imagine how much that is. Like, <laughs> I can buy like two items. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> All right. Uh, in fact, you know what? What I could be doing is I'll just stay around so I can even keep the deep blade. I already have two of the core items already by the way this is insane like <laughs> my leaders is expanded look so here's the catch right riffin has been uh, like playing mega safe the entire game and he actually somehow got two kills i guess against my teammates who are like mega losing but the difference is that this guy is like 95 cs dropping everything uh to stay alive this far and i got like more than double I have like two items. Riven has only one item at the moment. So that kind of, you know, explains the difference. And now I can use this to like snowball the rest of the game. Unfortunately, my teammates, uh, they keep on uh, dying. 
So I have to figure things out. Nice. In the meantime, we're getting like the second tower. Second tower is extremely important, guys. Remember this. Like, it actually adds up the most gold in the entire game. Simply the best option you can get. And we definitely have a kill secured because there's no direction that Faker can run into. This guy is 100% dead. <laughs> like, there's no escaping here unless he's gonna run into tower. Which I'm sure he wouldn't be willing to do. Uh, he bursts my teammate and then runs off. Good. Well, we have another one in, within the collection. Amazing. Now we make sure we shove this out. <coughs> All right, 1.8. <clears throat> Let's go into BT. Um, usually I wouldn't like encourage people to be, you know, going BT as a third item, uh, like unless you're like snowballing the game, which I am at the moment. Otherwise I'd be more looking towards the direction of going for a shield bow, depending on the situation or dead stance or couple other options it really depends really depends I always like going BT when I'm like snowballing the game several people in mid by the way I'll be pushing this out as far as possible this Riffin is getting kills man hmm We might just get another tower, possibly. Another second tower, which is insane. So we're basically trading. My teammates aren't worth any gold. They're not worth any value. Remember that, guys. They're not worth anything. So if my teammates die and I can get a second tower, it's actually within my favor. It's actually worth it. My teammates are like 20 gold. Like, they're, they're literally useless right now. They, they're, they're not worth anything. So. Hmm. That's probably a Baron call right here. We can probably do it. Uh, Fiddlesticks is gone, so... I wish I could have had all of these skills, man. <laughs> they were all so low HP. Just like that, we're getting Baron. All, it's all my damage. Like, Yasuo has so much raw damage. That Baron, in, at this stage of the game, is just like... You can kill it with like in the blink of an eye. It's so easy to do, guys. It would surprise you. And we're getting more. Hmm. Okay. Got another one. Nice. Okay, the way how I windfall like that, by the way, in case you're curious, I know that Zyra is waiting to get out of vision to throw the CC. So naturally what I'm going to do is I'll just drop the windfall down as soon as she walks out of vision. That way I know exactly where, uh, when I should be putting my windfall down. So if you're curious how I get these good timings off of my windfall, I just wait and I predict the best timing. Oh, that's terrible. Ah, 
I dashed into the into the wall on accident. I actually wanted to <laughs> I wanted to hit my Q and then do like the EQR. My bad. Whatever. Alright, um, we have like 2.9, so we, we have a choice to make. I can go for Wits End, which provides tenacity, by the way. I think it's probably the choice I'm going for. It provides attack speed, MR, provides tenacity in Season 14. It's a really good item, especially into the team comp we're up into right now. They have like a Fiddle, they got a Fagar, a Sire for CC. Most importantly, they have the direct CC from these two. And I hate it. Let's go. Yeah, Wit's End's gonna be a big difference. You'll see. It will. <laughs> hey, Stromberg99, thank you so much for, for the 13 months, bro. Thank you for resubbing, man, as always. We, have, we got tenacity now, so good luck, Riffin. Oh. Oh, uh, Scout never win. I don't even I don't even need to do like a proper combo for for Riffin. I just don't have to because I'm just too fed in the game. I'm way too fed in this game. Just looking for a road home. I don't. Oh. I still have R. Nice. Is that more jungle kills, maybe? Oh, I missed that one. Pro I guess I'm probably dead. Oh. That was a fiddlesticks on my back. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. No problem. So for the final item. We can actually build. I don't really, really like Terminus. But I think in this game, it's actually not that bad. I don't really think it is. I think this this item is actually very solid. Then again, I would probably prefer Guardian's Angel. Um, I have a hard choice to make now because like Terminus is really nice here, but also like Guardian's Angel is just, you know, it's it's good. It provides the effect which I, uh, which I really need. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna go into this one for now. And then we'll all stick a red potion. Let's go. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm basically full build. Like, the only thing I'm still missing is Guardian's Angel, like the armor itself, but. I think I'm gonna flash in. I'm completely stuck in the cage. Like, there's no moving out. That's something I'll never like in this game. Remember, we have to deal with like four people that are fed. Hmm. Okay. Nice, my teammates finished it off. They can definitely get the inhib as well. Riffin is backing, so they gotta hurry up. Reset and go, Baron. Okay, we got two. We got top and hip. We got mid and hip. So the uh, Baron call should be secured because they they. Oh man, it just respawned now. Uh, never mind. So we got mid lane, which is good. 
Uh, Gangplank is moving bot lane. Mm hmm. Very well then. Yeah, we need GP to move instant. Oh, they're going instant? No, 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 no. This is bad. No. I don't know what's going on with Zania. But, like, this is a bad call. I was actually wanting to fight, not go for Baron instant. Hmm. Okay, glad it worked out. This is such a terrible call, man. I should have not followed this. <laughs> this is such a bad Baron call, man. This is a total miscommunication. I was asking my team to go Baron, not like starting Baron. Just staying at Baron. Not starting Baron. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this is where this is where you definitely notice that League of Legends does not have voice comms, man. <laughs> you can definitely tell this that was a miscommunication there. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. I'm gonna keep going. Sidestep, let's go. Nearly got him. I need my teammates to... Uh, to move with me. Yeah, I need to uh, push the wave. So, his motor's coming back in a second. Nice. There's the Zyra ultimate too. Good. <laughs> GG. Alright. Hey, this is Yasuo Top Link, guys. Absolute great 1v9. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.